Hi, I'm Eddie O'Coin, reporting from Data Tech in Tampa, Florida, with a special edition of the Cyber Advisor. In our last episode, we talked about the as a service model and its far reaching effect on the IT industry. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most exciting developments to spring from this movement affordable cloud based IT security in the form of firewalls as a service. So stay tuned for this edition of the Cyber Advisor. As we covered in our last episode, the as-a-service model initiated a shift in power from the IT provider back to the business consumer by allowing customers to pay for essential technology in the form of an operational expense, a recurring monthly payment based on what the company actually uses. IT security is a very hot topic at the moment, and luckily for consumers, it's becoming more affordable and feasible for businesses to adopt a highly effective security solution to keep networks and data safe and secure. If you pay attention to current events, you know that security breaches are a daily occurrence. And this doesn't tell the whole story because many small and medium-sized businesses that are victimized choose not to publicize it because it's in their best interest not to do so. Most recently, AshleyMadison.com, a site that caters to spouses that wish to have discreet extramarital affairs, was breached by a group of hackers calling themselves the Impact Team, who then threatened to release very specific personal data on millions of individual clients if the site was not shut down. While the breach translates to Christmas in July for aspiring divorce attorneys and has prompted a number of amusing social media posts throughout the world, it serves as an illustration of the volatile security landscape businesses are forced to navigate today. Malware, short for malicious software, is a type of software designed to damage or disrupt a system. New malware threats are created and introduced every day, but just how many is pretty startling. According to a report by Panda Security, around 30 million new malware threats are released every year. That translates to over 80,000 new threats a day. Behind me, you can see a real-time cyber attack map illustrating just a small sample of attacks that are happening right now against just one single company, Norse Corporation. Norse is a threat intelligence firm based in Foster City, California that gathers information on attacks happening to its infrastructure, records where they're coming from, and informs its customers to block the malicious IP addresses. Now, some of the most common forms of malware include the dreaded virus, which is a small piece of software that can hijack, corrupt, and even delete data from a computer. What's worse, it can also spread and infect multiple computers within a network. There's also the Trojan horse, which is typically disguised as a legitimate application, but once it infiltrates a computer, can wreak havoc in a number of ways, such as recording passwords and even taking control of a webcam. Other forms of malware include rootkits, botnets, worms, spyware, phishing, and spam, all of which cause problems ranging from moderately annoying to potentially catastrophic. One serious threat to corporate networks was identified by CNBC as one of the top cybersecurity risks of 2015. It's called ransomware. Let's go to Mike Puckett in the Data Tech Threat Lab for some further insight. Mike, what's ransomware? All about? Yeah, thanks, Eddie. I'm here in uh, Data Tech Threat Lab. It's a bit noisy in here and it's a little chilly, but you know, ransomware is really a, an ugly type of software that allows cyber criminals to essentially hijack a company's data and hold it hostage until they fork over a ransom t to get it back. It goes by a, a number of names. Uh, you, re you may remember hearing about the Crypto Locker virus, which was taken down last year, followed by the unrelated Crypto Wall, which recently resurfed it, resurfaced in its 3.0 version after a brief period of uh, dormancy, basically. Regardless of what form it takes, ransomware can have a downright scary effect on a company's business operations. Mike, how exactly does ransomware infiltrate a business network? Yeah, well, like any malware of this kind, ransomware is typically spread through uh, a veiled email attachment or interaction with a website that has been com compromised uh, or through an infected computer program. Once it strikes a computer or a network, the files therein become encrypted, making them basically useless. Uh, once a system has been compromised, a message typically appears informing the user that their data is gone. 
and it won't be returned until the ransom is paid. And even if you do pay the ransom, there's no guarantee that your data will ever be restored. Yeah, that's correct. We're, we're not dealing with the most honorable citizens here. Hey, and with that said, I'm back to the studio before I catch something nasty in here. Good idea, Mike. That threat lab has more viruses than a Bangkok brothel. <sighs> Cyber criminals are becoming more sophisticated in their methods. And as such, so are the tools used to thwart their attacks. That said, a business of any size today that doesn't have a modern, fully updated security solution in place is exposing itself to dire risk. A company's first defense against outside security threats is a firewall, an appliance that inspects the data broken up into small packets that travel in or out of a network or workstation and applies a specified set of rules that it was given during configuration. If the data passes inspection, it's free to enter the network. If not, it gets blocked by the firewall. You can imagine your firewall as a sort of bouncer for your network or workstation. The appliance stands at the door of the network and decides whether or not to allow a data packet in based on the perceived threat that the packet may cause trouble. Firewall technology has advanced rapidly over the past several years in order to keep up with increasingly sophisticated attacks on corporate data. Let's go back to Mike, this time at the data center, for some insight on next generation firewalls. Mike? Yeah, thanks Eddie. It's good to be back here in a safer environment. Um, yeah, next generation firewalls took traditional firewalls to the next level by performing a more intensive inspection than the first and second generation firewalls. Uh, they incorporate deep packet inspection or DPI to, to more effectively analyze the data packets for harmful threats. Um, in addition to looking at the header, footer, source, and destination of incoming packets, which is what traditional firewalls do, uh, DPI also examines the actual data within the packet. Uh, this provides a far higher level of protection against the myriad of, of network threats out there today. But even with DPI included, there was still a gaping hole in firewall technology, encryption. Websites, or certain pages therein, become encrypted through the addition of a secure socket layer, SSL, which uses a cryptographic system to keep data sent over the internet private. This is essential when entering credit card data, or accessing password protected sites. Now there's something of a dirty little secret in the IT security industry, and it's not something most security providers like to disclose. A traditional firewall cannot inspect encrypted traffic. Mike, why is this so important? Yeah, it's a major problem, Eddie. Uh, a recent study found that 60% of internet connections at the end of 2014 were encrypted using SSL. Add to that a recent Gartner survey which found that less than 20% of organizations with a firewall, an intrusion prevention system, or a unified threat management appliance decrypt inbound or outbound SSL traffic. In other words, over 80% of companies with these safeguards in place are left vulnerable to attack through encryption. Cyber criminals know this, and it's an avenue that they're actively working to exploit. Data tech partner and IT security leader Dell Sonicwall patented a full stack stream inspection engine known as DPI SSL, which stands for Deep Packet Inspection of Secure Socket Layer. This takes DPI technology to the next level by allowing the firewall to actually open and inspect encrypted traffic effectively protecting networks against threats hidden in both encrypted and non-encrypted channels. Mike, would you say this is an absolute necessity as part of any effective IT security plan today? Yeah, no question about it. Not only is it a necessity, it's also very realistic to incorporate. While technology like this was once very expensive to adopt, this feature now comes as a standard part of DataTex Firewalls of Service offer. And that's a major development and brings us to the focus of this discussion. Let's talk about firewalls as a service. In the past, companies were forced to buy expensive firewall hardware and software upfront for each individual location. The cyber criminals upped their game and new threats emerged, the firewall would have to be replaced every two years or so. That doesn't even take into account the added expense of licensing, monitoring, and management 
without which the appliance's full potential can't be leveraged. Moreover, if the company experienced growth during the life of the firewall, causing necessary bandwidth to exceed the firewall's throughput, the appliance often had to be replaced to remain effective. So went the cycle of shelling out large capital expenditures, hoping that the firewall will work as advertised, and repeating as needed. As with other as-a-service offerings, Firewall as a service effectively initiated a shift in power back to business organizations. For one thing, it allows companies to escape the continuous spending cycle that was once the norm. Under this model, companies pay for the IT security through a single monthly payment based on what the organization actually uses. But the benefits of Firewall as a service don't end there, do they, Mike? Yeah, not by a long shot. Let's just start with scalability. You mentioned earlier that as a company grows, bandwidth requirements increase. Instead of buying a, a, a whole new appliance to accommodate this, uh, bandwidth can very easily and inexpensively be scaled up or down with firewall as a service, depending on the company's needs at any given time. Another benefit is 24-7 availability. Firewalls have to be fully functional at any given time to be effective. An on-premise firewall is at the mercy of the existing IT infrastructure, which in many cases is subpar. Through firewall as a service, availability is not an issue thanks to Datatech's privately owned contemporary data center, which ensures maximum availability. Uh, another huge perk is budget availability. IT security becomes a predictable operational expense, eliminating the substantial capital investments of the past. And what about expertise? How important is it to have qualified and trained experts overseeing and managing the security appliance? Yeah, it makes a world of difference to have expertise on your side. Um, Datatech has a special team of engineers in-house that have undergone extensive training and certifications to specifically manage Dell sonic wall firewalls. This is their specialty. There's very few providers out there that can boast this level of expertise. And what about threats that emerge from internal sources, whether through simple carelessness or intentional sabotage from, say, the guy in marketing who went off the deep end because the break room was out of bananas? <laughs> in many cases, internal threats can be just as dangerous, if not more so. How does firewalls of service help on this end? Yeah, running out of bananas can be pretty dangerous. <laughs> well, anyways, that's, that's where content filtering comes into play. And Dell SonicWall firewalls incorporate some of the highest levels of content filtering available today just for that reason. Businesses of any kind assume substantial risk by providing employees with computers that can access the internet. That's why Datatech's firewall as a service incorporates this powerful protection and productivity solution to block access to harmful and unproductive content. And what kind of reporting can customers expect to receive when they adopt firewall as a service? Yeah, the solution provides customers with highly detailed insights into the activity on any given network. This includes details on how threats were introduced to the network, potential weaknesses in the network, and bandwidth and web usage, targeted as deeply as an individual user. Reports like this are invaluable not only to recognize where these threats originated from, but also for companies concerned with compliance. And with the DPI SSL included, it must be a great benefit just to have the threat of encryption effectively neutralized. Yeah, the fact that DPI SSL is included as part of the firewall as a service is really a major development. Even though most people outside of the IT industry don't realize how serious the threat of encryption is today, the fact that this technology is included provides a great deal of peace of mind. And in the end, that might be the greatest benefit of Datatech's firewall as a service solution. The peace of mind that comes with world-class level security at an affordable monthly price with no upfront costs, provided through a partnership between Datatech and the worldwide leader of high-performance network security and data protection solutions, Dell SonicWall. If you'd like to learn more about how adopting firewalls as a service can benefit your business, or have any questions relating to the IT industry, we encourage you to reach out to us today, either by calling or visiting us online at datatechitp.com, or by calling us at 813-874-5511. For Mike Puckett, I'm Eddie O'Coin. Join us next time on The Cyber Advisor.